Hello friends, in this video, we will discuss about another important topic for NEET PG, which is Orthopedics Image Based Question Part 2. Link for Part 1 video will be there in the description below. Do watch full video so that you do not miss any important point. First is spur sign. The acetabulum is composed of two columns, which is anterior and posterior. This column represents the condensation of trabecular bone along the lines of stress. When there is fracture of both columns, that is bicolumnar fracture, spur sign is seen in X-ray. Next is position of hip joint or leg. The first is fadir, that is flexion, adduction and internal rotation. This position is there when there is posterior dislocation of hip or there is traumatic dislocation of hip. Another position is faber, which is flexion, abduction and external rotation. It is present in anterior dislocation of hip and fracture shaft of femur. Then jumpers fracture. It is edge shaped sacral fracture due to fall from height. Then floating knee. It is fracture of femur, tibia and fibula near knee joint which makes the joint unstable. Then next is Hoffa's fracture. A Hoffa fracture is an intraarticular subcondylar distal femur fracture characterized by a fracture in the coronal plane. The next is bumper's fracture. A bumper fracture is a fracture of lateral tibial plate 2 caused by a forced valgus applied to the knee. This causes the lateral part of the distal femur and the lateral tibial plate 2 to come in contact compressing the tibial plate 2 and causing the tibia to fracture. The mechanism of injury is forced valgus of knee when struck from side by car bumper. The next is Sigon's fracture. The Sigon fracture is a type of avulsion fracture of lateral tibial condyle immediately behind the surface which articulates the femur. The mechanism of injury is internal rotation of the knee joint. Next is Pylon's fracture. It is intraarticular fracture of distal tibial articular surface with metaphyseal comminution. It often involves fibula also. The next is Runner's fracture. It is spiral fracture of distal fibula. Then Toddler's fracture. A toddler's fracture is a spiral or oblique undisplaced fracture of distal shaft of tibia. This fracture usually occurs in children as a result of twisting injury due to accidental fall. It can be remembered by pneumonic cast. Then Cotton's fracture. It is trimalleolar fracture that is fracture of medial, lateral and posterior malleolus. Then Pott's fracture. It is bimolar fracture that is fracture of medial and lateral malleolus. Then Tiliox fracture. It is evolution of anterolateral part of lower tibial epiphysis. The next is Lowers or Don Juan fracture. It is intraarticular fracture of calcaneum due to fall from height. The next is aviation fracture. It is coronal plane fracture of the neck of talus resulting from forced dalsifraction of the ankle. The next is March fracture. It is stress fracture of shaft of second metatarsal. Then nutcracker fracture. It is intraarticular fracture of cuboid bone. The next and important concept is concept of Lisfranc and Chopard joint. In Lisfranc or tarsometatarsal joint, first three metatarsals articulates with three cuneiforms and fourth and fifth metatarsals with cuboid. And in Chopard joint, which is also known as mid tarsal joint, the articulation is between the calcaneus and talus and navicular and cuboid. So, Lisfranc's fracture dislocation is tarsometatarsal joint fracture dislocation. And Chopard's fracture means intertarsal joint fracture dislocation, that is, telonavicular and calcaneo cuboidal joints. So friends, this was all about this video. I hope you like the content. We will upload more such content in our future videos. So do like and subscribe our channel and also share it among your friends. Thank you.